Hello my number eight and welcome to your reading with me Jackie here on Romany Tarot. This will be a reading, I'm going to title it for the month of October but whenever you click on this video it might be the time that you was meant to hear it. So let's get on with the reading. So this is for those of you born on the 8th, the 17th or the 26th of any month. It doesn't matter the month you was born, all right? So let's have a look. So let's pick up the energies here and just see what comes over in the cards. So I'm going to start with, um, I'm going to pull three cards here from the Lenormand deck. And let's have a look. Let's just give him a shuffle. The ones come over here. We have the house. What else do we have? There's something to do with a home, a place of work. Somewhere where you spend a lot of time. All right, so whether it's at work or at home or both. <laughs> okay, let's have a look. What else do we have? Wherever it is, it's a place where you feel secure. All right, it's a place of security where you feel comfortable, at home, relaxed. Right, I think that's it. Number 17, you have the clouds. All right, so some sort of confusion. Your mind's all over the place. Uh, there could be uh, some upset, a little bit of depression. Um, yeah, but it'll pass. Remember, it's the clouds. Clouds always pass. All right, so it could be your mood. All right, 26. You have the fox. He's been making quite an appearance. All right. So the fox. So you've been a little bit crafty, maybe. <laughs> Some of you, all right? So maybe a little bit of craftiness here. Um, and... This is work as well. So maybe it's a work situation for some of you. Maybe there's a situation at work where you've got to um, uh, wriggle your way out of something. Um, you've got yourself, might be, you've, it might be that you've got yourself in a bit of a little situation, a bit of a sticky situation that you need to get out of. So you've got to be clever. You've got to be shrewd. Um, yeah, let's have a look. So at the bottom of the deck, we do have the anchor. So that's another card of uh, security as well. Putting down your roots, putting, uh, you know, settling down. And uh, yeah, very, um, can be a little bit stubborn as well. Bit of a stubbornish energy there with the uh, anchor. But let's have a look. Let's pull now from the tea leaf and see what cards come over for you, okay? Put that back because I haven't shuffled them. I'm absolutely useless at shuffling cards. All right, okay. One more card. One more. Okay, that one wanted to come over. Okay, so what are we dealing with here? Okay, so your first card is the archway, new opportunity, possibilities and paths opening up. So something, something's opening up for you, number eight, all right, a new pathway. Um, whether that's in a relationship, a job, whatever it is for you. And we do have the yoke, feeling tied down or frustrated, all right. So um, that comes here with the broken ring, partings of ways in either romance or business. All right, so I did come up that with with the work thing all right so there might be a separation uh if you are with someone there could be some sort of se separation here there could be um you could be feeling frustrated about your work situation feeling that you can't move you feel tied down frustrated there uh, the broken ring is something that's um it's going to be maybe at this stage something that can't be fixed. 
all right so you're parting your ways maybe there's a partnership in business a partnership in a, a relationship anything like that but there is a new opportunity here and there's new possibilities for you all right so you do have a choice there's other things here opening up for you right let's pull some tarot my number eight let's see what we have So a change of job for some of you, that could be a, a, a new path, a new possibility. Um, for some of you feeling frustrated, uh, confused, upset. And that might be due to not being able to uh, I don't know, not being able to help someone, not being able to um, do something about a situation. It's frustrating you. The situation could be making you feel a little bit down as well. This could be to do with the home, for some of you, a relationship, a home, or a work, a place of your work. So you could be feeling frustrated with work, thinking about breaking away from um, something else, all right? Okay, I think I've shuffled them enough, so I'm going to cut them now. So what do we have? Okay. So we have the King of Coins, we have the Six of Wands, and we have the Page of Coins. We have the Nine of Cups, the Three of Cups, and the King of Cups. So a lot of cups, so a lot of feelings uh, in this row. We have the Ace of Batons or the Ace of Wands. We have the Temperance card and we have the Death card. Okay, so we do have the element of success, all right, especially in this row. Uh, this could be a success in the home, in your work, anything like that, all right, because of a new opportunity, something else is coming in for you. All right, something else that's going to bring you more money, more security. All right, but you might have to do some training, some learning, you know, anything to that respect to have this success. All right, it's about learning the learning the uh, learning as you go along. All right, so I'm picking up learning as you go along. Uh, it's going to be worth it because it's going to be uh, if this is work related, it's going to be paying more. If it's uh, home related, maybe it's a uh, a property, something you've invested in, something you're selling, um, a good sale, all right, maybe you have an opportunity to sell up and move on. Okay, so let's just have a look at this row, all right, so feeling uh, frustrated and tied down, all right, we do have the Nine of Cups, all right, it's, the Nine of Cups is a card of contentment, all right, so I do feel in that you uh, feel that you're feeling a little bit discontent. All right, it could be something to do with a group of friends. It could be to do with a friend. All right, feeling discontent about a, a situation. Um, a very strong, uh, loving, caring energy. The King of Cups. All right, stable. Um, stable in his feelings and emotions but a very caring energy here. So some sort of confusion here and upset or making you feel a little, something here is making you feel a little down, a little bit down, all right? And it's something to do with, uh, I don't know, something to do with just as I was uh, or a person, uh, you or, or a person, so as soon as they were doing so well, you know, something... Something always comes up to uh, disrupt um, sort of like a happy medium sort of thing, yeah? Okay. 
Okay, so let's have a look at this row. Okay, so we do have uh, somebody taking action. There's an opportunity to start taking action. All right. Remember, whatever it is that you're doing, 26 is do it in moderation with the temperance card. All right. Don't dwell on the past. All right. Don't dwell on, uh, as I say, I well, I say spilt milk as well. Don't dwell on spilt milk. Um so parting of ways, even in romance, so if something doesn't work out, it doesn't work. At least you're trying, all right, with the temperance card. At least you uh, always seem to, you don't give up. Let's put it that way. Whatever's happening here, you, you never give up, all right? So um, I would say here, trying uh, different things. Um, you've been, tr you have been trying. So whether this is uh, trying relationships and they just don't work out whether it's trying new jobs and they're just not for you um but there is uh something here about your uh i'd say your not that you're mental don't get me wrong your mental state here is something about you flying off the handle all right so some of you could be in, in the sort of person that just can't hold back and doesn't think before they speak all right, so you just blur everything out. Um, yeah, but let me just see what's at the bottom of this deck as well. Teardrops, all right, great personal sorrow. Yeah, I do see that with the clouds. Very personal to you, very heartfelt because we've got all these cups here. All right, somebody you care about very deeply, number 17. Um, I just want to say maybe they're healing um, because we do have temperance here, uh, uh, there could be a healing here of a friend, um, uh, somebody very close to you that's uh, causing you to feel um, a bit down, let's pull it that way, making you uh, feel a little bit down, all right? And it's 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 just that feeling that it, there's nothing that you you uh, whatever process they're going through they have to go through this process, and um and that's what's making you feel down because there's nothing that you can personally do, but um, be supportive, loving and supportive towards this person, whoever that is for you. All right, for others you others of you, I do see uh something coming in, a new job, a new property moving or you know relocating uh selling up buying something else i do see that you are investing in your security all right something's going to be very successful when it comes to uh finding the right job or uh maybe a promotion in in a job for others of you um i do see that you are trying to uh fix something here all right uh, something it could have something to do with your past something that's happened in the past all right maybe you're trying to fix a friendship but whatever it is that you're trying to do um i do see um it, as i say work related relationship i don't know but what you know wherever it fits for you um that there is a need to put an end to something once and for all all right uh something here can't uh something here can't be fixed that's what i'm saying there's certain things that can't be fixed but other than that new opportunities possibilities and new paths opening up all right so remember with the clouds especially this this line here uh, with the clouds, it it's going to pass, all right? You're not going to feel like this all the time. Of course you're not, all right? And whatever it is that somebody is going through here, it, it will pass. It will get better, okay? And we do see that, all right? Things can only get better. Okay, um, lots of healing here, getting something right. I do see... Uh, 
somebody to sort of try and uh, different things as I say this this gives me like because it is apart from temperance moderation and everything it is a card of healing it's a card of balance as well and it's also a card of um I call it the doctor card you know sort of getting the uh, medication right the combination right whatever it is that it is that it is okay so thank you that's what I have I do see your security is very important to you. Um, I do see uh, investments or some sort of, um, I'll say an investment in a property or something like that for you guys. All right, you number seven, uh, sorry, number eights. We'll say number sevens then. Number eights, I do see some sort of security coming in for you or security that you're building on, that you're investing in. Okay, so I'll leave that there with you guys. Um, as I say, take from it what you can. If it didn't resonate, then it's not for you, all right? Um, and I'll be back very soon with your November readings already. It's, you know, another couple of months. It's the end of the year. So it's gone so quick. And remember, I was doing this for a year, the numbers. But we'll see how I feel next year. Um, I do enjoy doing them. And uh, maybe I'll combine them with uh, the uh, Zodiac as well next year. We'll see what I have planned. Anyway, so I'll be back soon in November uh, with your reading. Please do take care. Be gentle with yourself. Don't uh, beat yourself up about anything. Um, and uh, good luck. Bye.